I'm going to come out and say it right now. Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid, the whole Chiefs organization, bro, y'all tripping. Y'all are tripping. This man was egregiously offsides. Like, it wasn't even, like, a ticky-tack, like, ah, dang, we splint hairs here. Like, bro, his helmet and foot might have been in front of the ball. Fact. Like, he's in the neutral zone. He's not even allowed to be remotely that close. Like, bro. what are we talking about here? And the whole, what really is, and I, bro, I love Patrick Mahomes, but I'm always shoot it straight. For him to go into that post game handshake with Josh Allen and be talking about some. Bro, just say good game and walk away. If I was Josh Allen, like, he better man than me. I'd have been like, cry more. <laughs> like, I'd have been like, talking bro. crazy. Like, bro. Man, what you coming to me saying that for? Like, I'm the opposing team. Like, what? Like, right. Bro, when they, when Josh Allen lost to him in the playoffs before they changed the overtime rules, he ain't go there and, and do all that in your face after the game. Look, I ain't had a ball. Like, we, like he ain't right. weak like that. Like, he, ain't, he didn't complain about the rules when it didn't benefit him. So why are you doing it right now? Like, obviously, he's frustrated in the heat of the moment and all that. But, like, I don't know, bro. That seemed just – that's just corny to me, to be honest. Like, yeah. like I said, Josh Allen better than me because I would have said something. There's no way you about to – bro, all you got to do is walk up, dap me up, and say, good game, stay healthy, and walk away. Yeah, man. It's just it, – that was, that was a bad look because – what do you want the refs to do? Like, what do you want the refs to do? Not call that? Like, bro, and, and it's, it's tough, bro, because, like, y'all are the Chiefs. And don't get me wrong. Like, I've never, like, I like the Chiefs. And I've never been the type to be like, yeah, they get lucky because of this call. They get lucky because of that call. But, like, if we're being honest, there's been a lot of, like, ticky-tacky, like, eh, could go 50-50 calls late in big games, big play. The biggest games, of games. The biggest game. <laughs> right. Come on now. Their way. So, like, you can't, you, like, you guys are not the one to complain like that. I, you right. just can't. I'm sorry. But of all the instances that it's happened and you have been the on the benefiting side, bro, you got all these other quarterbacks, all these other players that have come out and just been like, look, I, I'm never going to just sit here and let a, a, a single call from a, a ref dictate the game. But you're going to come out and on the field, in y'all post-game interviews, everybody just whining and complaining about this one call, and it was the right call. Like, it's it was, not, no, man. there's no questions about it, bro. It wasn't Tiki Tag, it was the right call. And, like, bro, I understand you can't get on Tony right then and there, but, like, bro, why the hell is he lined up? Like, bro, this, yo, know, listen, somebody paid him off, bro, because this whole season, he's been doing stuff that's, like, bro, are you, do you, are you trying to make them lose? Like, it's not like, or you're having a bad play, you made a mistake. Like, bro, he's doing stuff that looks like he's actively trying to make them not win games, bro. Right. It is ridiculous. It's been all season. But, yeah, bro, it's like stuff doesn't count. come down to that. Stuff doesn't come down to one play. Like, I get it. It's frustrating. But, like, it doesn't come down to one play, bro. And especially for you guys who got away with a lot of those ticky tack calls, you, you just can't be the one to complain in that moment. But. I mean, I don't know, man. Just play, play better throughout the game until you're not in that situation, bro. I don't know what to tell you. Like, just play better. And granted, he is – he. I think before he was – Um, I think – I forgot what game it was. He did say, like, all right, look, I'm not looking for calls late in the game. Like, I'm not looking for calls that benefit me. But still, you just – you can't put yourself in that situation, bro. You got to just play better throughout the game. Right. And, again, y'all are – this is happening – what, they were on the, the Buffalo 49, so you're – Basically, yeah. you're right at midfield. It is second and 10 when this offensive offsides happen. Yeah, it's tough because it's a crazy-looking play, obviously, like a crazy play from Kelsey to even attempt that. Like, my heart would have dropped if I was Andy Reid. Like, I would have went from, like, oh, my gosh, what are you doing to, oh, my gosh, you're crazy. But at the end of the day, like, yeah, you're frustrated in the heat of the moment about the call. You don't have the wherewithal to stop and think about if it's the right call. You're not looking for the replays or whatever. You get the it's second and 15. <laughs> like, basically, still have field. Mm -hmm. you just need to get in the field. You don't need a touchdown. You just need to get in the field goal range. You have timeouts. 
Second and 15, Patrick Mahomes pass incomplete. Third and 15, Patrick Mahomes pass incomplete. Timeout, timeout. Fourth and 15, Patrick Mahomes pass incomplete. You had three more shots at it. So we not, why are we going to blame it on the call? It was three more downs of football to be played, bro. Yeah. And it's not like you needed to get some Hail Mary 15 yards. I'm not hearing it, bro. So I really thought it was – that was – from a guy, like I said, I, I love watching Patrick Mahomes play. I think he's the most talented quarterback we've ever seen. That was lame, bro. <laughs> the way that this whole situation went about after the game, what he was saying, um, like I said, on the field and in his post-game press conference, that's lame. Like like you said, they've been on the receiving end of a lot of questionable, you know, ticky-tack calls that have gone their way. And people have not come out on the other side organization. They're asking Jalen Hurts about it right after he just lost the Super Bowl in a game where he played better than Patrick Mahomes. And he's like, this it's not going to decide the game. Refs don't decide the game. But you up here going crazy about offensive offsides, talking about it's, a, it's hurting Travis Kelsey's Hall of Fame legacy. Like, what are we talking about, bro? And it's like, it's crazy because you guys are, and like, you admit that it's not a, the wrong call. You're just mad that they called it. Like in the moment, like you know, it's the right. Like you can see it. He's above the ball, like, right? I don't know. It, that it, it it was a bad look. Don't get me wrong. It definitely was a bad look. I I do. If you're giving him any benefit of the doubt, it's just like he the moment he's just pissed off. But you just can't do that, bro. You got to keep the composure. I think uh, he, that, that all that was probably like built up from the actual receivers. Like he probably really wanted to do that to Tony, but like you can't blast your guy on national tv like that so i don't know man it's tough tough get better <laughs> it's like get better tell your team tell your receivers catch the ball tell, you, tell you guys get better bro that's pop right. warner bro you don't know the look at the ref line up Thank like you. like that's pop warner stuff bro